All right, friends, we're on day three of planting out the cool season garden. Today, we're focusing on broccoli. For sure, I've got Romanesco broccoli, DiCicco broccoli, and Waltham broccoli. And I'm really hoping they make it without bolting. They have a tendency to bolt in Southwest Michigan because of the quick change in weather between spring and the summer season coming on. I gave them a really good start inside, so I'm hoping that'll help them acclimate better out here. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm really hoping I didn't grow all this garlic for nothing, or excuse me, broccoli for nothing. If so, I'll learn my lesson and we'll start again. Uh, new starts in July for the fall garden. Um, but we're gonna try to get all this broccoli in, the rest of the red onions, which will interplant between these broccoli varieties, as well as garlic will be going in between the broccoli varieties, just again to help uh, deter pests that want to eat the broccoli. So I've got my helpers and we're gonna try to knock this out because we have another day of no rain. Even though it was predicted to rain, it's not raining. So we're gonna see what we can get done if you would like to join us. Let's get at it. tell you about my garlic now absolutely especially in Michigan I 100% recommend doing garlic in the fall and not in the spring but to make a very long story short or a very unnecessary story short we had to we couldn't do garlic in the fall so I'm doing it in the spring um, I've done it in the spring before with some success it just definitely does better in the fall so I bought an, an Italian late garlic from Burpee and this one is supposed to do well in the spring. Um, we'll see, we'll just see how it does. Uh, I'm planting it in between broccoli, so I'm hoping they'll give it some shade as it grows so it doesn't bolt or just not do well. So this is kind of an experiment. Um, I'm not planting as much as I want, but I'm planting some. And then in the fall, I'll have to do a whole nother harvest. But again, especially in, in Michigan, you want to be planting your garlic in the fall, but I chose a variety that's supposed to do well in the spring and we'll, we'll see how it does. So we're going to be putting this between the um, Romanesco broccoli we've got here and on the other side, the Waltham broccoli. successfully gotten all the broccoli in the garden. Now, the broccoli were not looking as sprightly as the cabbage and cauliflower did yesterday. And I think part of that is because they got rained on yesterday. I had them sitting out on the porch when we were out here planting and they got rained on and it just kind of made them a little bit more weak, but that's okay. I feel like they're gonna be in the ground. We've got a lot of good stuff surrounding them. We've got uh, the straw here supporting them. So hopefully they'll pull through. There were some weaker ones and we'll see. I have tons of broccoli, so I'm not too worried about losing plants. I always say plant 30% more than what you need to account for, um, you know, things like this, things like plants getting uh, killed when they're being planted. <laughs> we lost a few uh, from some younger children trying to get them in the ground. So always play at 30% more. So if we lose a couple, sure I'll be disappointed, but overall we have plenty of broccoli um, to get us through if they even make it in after all that. So in between the different broccoli groups, again, I did um, Romanesco, Waltham, and DiCicco. DiCicco, uh, we planted our garlic. We planted the rest of our red onions. 
and then down on the far end on the other end where I still have space I think is where I'm going to put my beets that's what I plan for in my uh, either beets or bunching onions I know beets do well with broccoli and I've got about uh, four or five feet so I'll just have to do the math again and see if per square foot I can get what I need for beets because I need quite a few beets if not that's probably where I'll put the bunching onions that I have growing inside Behind me here are the final two rows. So one will be a four foot deep row, this one right behind me. And that's where we're putting uh, the kale, Swiss chard, spinach, arugula, my radish carrot interplanting system, which I'm excited to tell you about in the next video, and lettuces. So again, behind me here will be all the leafy greens, uh, mustards, kales, Swiss chard, spinach, arugula, lettuce, and the radishes and carrots, potentially some beets if they don't fit in the bed that we just did. And then over here along the fence line, uh, will be more of a narrow bed. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I may just do sunflowers there like I did last year um, and just have some tall uh, flowers bordering that back side of the garden. That's probably what I'll do since I only have about two feet over there. Um, and really I've got everything I need in this garden for the cool season. Everything fit. I'm really excited about that. Um, so we'll see if the weather holds after lunch, if we're able to get out of here and start getting some of the kales and Swiss chards and mustards in the ground. Again, carrot seed and radish seeds too. So we'll just have to see. I usually say what I'm gonna do and then it changes. <laughs> so I'm just glad we got all these broccoli and onion and garlic in and we'll see what the rest of the day holds.